right, friends, I've got another. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna find out in a minute. So, I do know this one's a watch game, so we'll find out if it's uh, worth it or if it was just a random one. I can't tell, maybe it's a, maybe it's a uh, wheel. Croton, oh, they've been around for a long time. I actually have a couple of vintage Crotons. So we'll see. Oh, that is fantastic. I like that. Look at that. All right, if I can find a video, then uh, I'll see you in a minute. I don't even remember exactly how we met. Do you remember? I remember that we met on air, but you know something? Right. You, you didn't have any gray hair then. No, it was, uh, <laughs> it was much darker. There was no gray. And I had a little bit more really hair. Nervous. Part of what's fun about what David builds is that he's not afraid to gamble every once in a while. He will take an outlandish concept and just do this crazy over-the-top watch that, where did this come from, kind of a thing. And I love that as a collector because Obviously, collectors approach collecting differently, but I love the variety. And my father, who was really the founder of the Mermelstein family in watches, he told me that he says, if you want the customers to come back again and again, then you must make sure that they are happy with their purchase. Here's a company that will back any watch you own from them with a limited lifetime warranty. Believe it or not, a lot of the famous Swiss brand movements you're going to be seeing Croton coming out with that everybody was saying you can't do it anymore we can't make them anymore because they're too expensive but from my relationships with people in Switzerland which go back many many years I, my father with relationships to the grandparents of the people who are running the companies right now you will see Croton coming out with desirable limited edition movements that everybody said you can't come on TV with anymore. It's impossible. We will be having those. All right, guys. So this is Croton. And if this name is familiar to you, you would be correct because they are from 1878. Now, that doesn't mean that this watch necessarily came from 1878 um, or, or this particular brand. The... Proton Company, uh, this is a new version of the old company. So basically what happens, and, and I think it could be Solar Time or one of those time, one of those watch companies, I can't remember. And I'll, I'll correct it and put the information up here so you guys can see. But basically there's a couple companies and they're buying up old um, old patents. And and that's fine, right? I mean that's I, I really don't have a problem with it. But Proton was a really good company back in the day. And they made dive watches among other watches, but during the quartz crisis, which happened in the late 70s, early 80s, um, probably close to three-fourths of the Swiss manufacturers went out of business. They just did. Um, it, it is what it is. Uh, there were mergers and acquisitions, and uh, they just, a lot of them were done. And this was one of them. Croton was one. But they were well-known. It wasn't a super top-of-the-line you know, top make. It wasn't like a... Rolex or, or something of the sort. They just made um, good quality watches. And somebody's now bringing them back. So I understand a lot of people are upset about that. But what I will say is that the quality of the watches that you're getting today um, with this quartz is significantly better than what would have been a 17 jewel wind up from Croton back in the day. Um, this is a good, really good quality watch. Uh, I'll get right into it. It's a 200 meter. Uh, that's fantastic. That's, um, you know, gosh, that's twice the length of a high school football field, right? I mean, you could use this for that. And it's, it's fantastic. It does have a screw down crown. So it really, really helps uh, seal uh, the air in, or I guess prevent the water from getting in. But um, it's, it's decent. Uh, very, very high quality, really, for what you're getting. Um, so it's, it, you can take it anywhere you want to go, uh, swimming, snorkeling, diving, right? Uh, 200 meters. That's, that's not, uh, something to sneeze about. I mean, it's not the Titanic, but whatever. Uh, so 
The one thing that people will probably be upset about, and I'll put pictures up here, is that it has a Japanese movement. It is not a Swiss movement. But that's okay, I suppose. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I do kind of wish that uh, since it's a Swiss brand, that it would at least have a Swiss movement in it, but it does not. Um, but at least they were honest about it, right? You can just see it. It says, I'll put a picture of it. I'll put it somewhere there. It says Japan movement. That's what it is. But it's nice. Um, 316 stainless steel. Uh, this isn't. I don't know what this is. It's like some cheap stamped crap. The, uh, the buckle. But the bracelet itself is... Not bad. It's not uh, not really thick, but it is probably I'd say medium bracelet. It's a little janky, you know. I don't, I don't really like that. It doesn't have necessarily the quality that I would feel from uh, some of my higher quality watches. But uh, the case is not so bad. Um, it seems to be billet that it was chiseled from and polished. It's nice. It's got uh, the nice the, the make on the face on the crown there and of course the box but right you don't buy watches for the boxes um the bezel is kind of nice it's good solid that pip does light up i'll show that a little bit later it's got uh what is that uh, I'll, I'll put how many clicks it's got i can't remember but it is it is quite decent it doesn't move too freely so you're not going to like bump it while you're you know scuba diving or whatever but it's good and solid i like it it's got the little window for the date uh, so it's a three hand with date which is nice um and uh it's sapphire coated crystal it's a hardened mineral crystal it's not sapphire but sapphire coated uh let me go ahead and take the measurements let's see what is that oh that's not right let's fix this okay Forty-two. Okay, and the log room say twenty-two. It's usually a pretty good bet. Yep, twenty-two. All right, depth. I'm gonna say thirteen and a half. Damn it! All right, thirteen. All right, the lug. Lug width is forty-five. Now, looking at this, one of the things that does bug me. Is this solid? It is not. So one of the things I mentioned about this bracelet not being really the quality I would expect is you see the the, the brackets, the end links there. It's just a U-shape. Now, I, I'm not going to totally criticize it because there's a lot of Swiss brands that still sell that. But I've always been really impressed where the end links are a solid piece of billet that has been chiseled um, and installed because the, the fit is better. This over time will wear out the underside there and it will actually uh, wear out the corners as well. Not a huge problem. I don't know that this is a watch that you would keep for your whole life, really, but this is probably a, I don't know, a decent watch. Um, it'll last a good time, I suppose. So yeah, it's nice. Um, I got this $118. Okay, so, so not bad. I mean, it's definitely worth that. If, if it had a slightly nicer bracelet, or honestly, if I replaced it, and you know, I might actually keep it because for $100, it's kind of nice. I may replace it with a nice red strap, uh, like a vinyl strap. I'll put a picture one up here. Um, a nice red vinyl strap would actually look really nice on this, and it would be perfect for diving. Uh, I, I actually think that would be really nice, and I think I'm going to do that because I just really don't like this the strap. I feel like the watch is a higher quality than the bracelet is. I just, I just, I don't like this. It, it, ugh. But it's a good watch, good solid diver, and I think that would be perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's check out the weight. I'm gonna say about 120, feels like it. Oh gosh, much more. One, I'm going to say 150. Ugh, let's fix that. 158. 158. All right. 
and let's check out that loom. And I'm going to turn the lights off. Not bad. Doesn't really stay very bright though, I will tell you. For for being a, a new watch, you'd expect the loom to be a little bit more, more decent. But whatever, what are you going to do? All right, well, that's that. Croton, they're back. Okay, well, if you like this video, I know it's quick, I know it's short, but it is what it is. If you'd like to see more, uh, please leave a like and subscribe and leave your comments in the section below. Thank you.